All right, welcome back to PC Building Simulator. We are here on the start screen. You know, that means that we just got an update. We are on version 1.12, 1.12. Uh, and we've got a bunch of new things, and there's always a good preview of those things. When you look at the build on the on the start screen, you can see some new things already. Hopefully, you can see maybe we got some new fractal cases, eh? a little bit of fractal AIO. This is a lot of fractal already. Uh, I think this graphics card is actually new. There are a couple of new GPUs. We're gonna check out. We're gonna go through. We're gonna look at everything that's new in this build. Um, 1.12, a PC building simulator. There, of course, is a new workshop that's been added. The Fractal Design Workshop. It's fractal all the place, uh, all over the place, but we're not gonna look at that in this video. But go ahead and check out my channel for that video, uh, because I'll be doing a full workshop tour. So we'll do that, but first, we're gonna go through everything that's new in version 1.12 of PC building simulator. All right, so here we are in the Overclockers UK workshop, uh, my favorite workshop. Um, but we're gonna go through and talk about all the new parts that are in this update. Uh, so let's do what we do. Let's start at the top because it's the easiest. We've got a lot to go through. Uh, there's a few categories we're going to see stuff, but there's a lot of categories that we are. It's actually, this is a very good update. I'm pretty excited. Uh, CPUs. We have finally got Intel's 11th gen uh, of, of CPUs. So we go down here, past all the new Ryzen stuff. We've been celebrating lots of new Ryzen stuff for a long time. The 5900, 5950X, the 5000 series in general. But now we've got the 11,000 series from Intel. Uh, Intel fires back. They got their new branding on the CPUs. Look, it looks so different. It's cool. We don't have the little swoopies. It's their new branding. So we've got the 11400, 11400F. I'm actually not sure what the difference is between those, to be honest. Uh, 11500, the 11600, the 11600K's. 11600KF, 11700, 11700KF, and 11700K, 11900, 900K, and 900KF. So uh, I'm again, I'm not, I'm not, I can't remember the differences between K and KF and F and whatever. Uh, I, I'm, I'm more used to it when it was just K, uh, K meaning usually like unlocked. Um, but yeah, this is the newest, the newest generation of CPUs from Intel using their new, well, actually not that new, but the LGA. 1200 sockets, so 1200 pins. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're gonna be checking that out. We got tops out at the eight core, uh, 16 thread, 11900KF, so, um, which is in real life quite the overclocker. So I will be very curious to see how it does in this game. Uh, set CPUs, 1100 series from Intel 11th gen. Yay, very exciting. CPU cooling, we've got a few air coolers and we've got a bunch of liquid coolers. We saw some of the liquid coolers on the home screen. I'm trying to scroll down but not go too far to spoil the surprises. Uh, okay, here we go. No, I just lied. Uh, I, we aren't We aren't there yet. We're still, we're still scrolling. <laughs> okay, there we are. All right, for real this time. Um, air coolers, we've got three from Arctic. The Freezer 11 LP, which is kind of cool. It's like a low profile fan. I'll always take more of those. The A13X and the A13X CO. Don't know what the CO means. It seems to have a black fan instead of a white fan. Anyway, uh, and five more CFM. I'm not sure how, but okay. Um, for our liquid cooling, we've got some new. Whoa, actually, we have a new one. New liquid cooler from A Data. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. XPG Levante 360. 360 right here. And then we've got a bunch from Fractal with their Celsius Plus series. So we've got 360s. We've got 280s. We got 240s. We've got them with uh, the white RGB fans and then just their black fans. So it's nice to have the two options depending on what you're trying to do. So uh, that's everything from liquid cooling. We've got new new ones from Fractal Design. We did have AIOs from Fractal before the old Celsius, the Celsius Non Plus. I think the Celsius Plus actually looks pretty nice. The block and pumpers comp is pretty cool. So uh, motherboards. There's some interesting new additions in motherboards. Uh, let's go through and talk about them a bit. We're going to scroll down here for a little bit. And again, I am going to try not to show too much. Oh my gosh, there's so many motherboards to go through. Okay, here we are, we've arrived. Uh, okay, so we had the EVGA Z490 Dark. It's a weird one with the socket mounted sideways. New ones, MSI Meg Z590 Ace. Mag Z590 Torpedo is a very unique looking uh, motherboard, I gotta say. The, uh, we got a couple B550 boards with the Tomahawk, which is a really great B550 board, uh, and the Gaming Carbon Wi-Fi from MSI. We've got, going back to Z590 again, we've got Mag Z590 Tomahawk from MSI. Also a nice looking board. Uh, and then here's where it gets a little interesting. Oh, we do have a Micro ATX board here, the B550M, so I'll take another one of those. 
B550 Unify? Is this really all? Oh yeah, we got a bunch of new B550 ports. I didn't even realize. Uh, the Unify X from MSI, the B550 Mortar Wi-Fi, another micro ATX board, and a mini ITX board, B550 Gaming Edge Wi-Fi. So we got a bunch of actually a decent amount of AM4 in here. But then going back to Z590, this is where it, this is where it actually gets interesting. I lied to you. Um, the MSI MPG Z590 Carbon EKX. This is an interesting board. Um, EK, if you're making the connection, uh, this is a actual like water-cooled motherboard. So I'm curious to see how they do it in the game, but it has a full block water cooler that cools the CPU and the VRMs. And uh, that would be a first for PC Building Simulator. We've never, we've never done it. So this will be interesting to see how exactly that works. But I'm excited. And then we also have the Z590 Gaming Carbon Wi-Fi. So uh, those are our motherboards. Yay, cool. Very interested in this EK board. Very, very interested. Memory, no new memory. We're skipping right past it. Graphics cards, we've got two new ones. The RX 5700 Gaming X from MSI and the RTX 3070 Ventus. From MSI. Is that our, how many 37s do we have? So, okay, so we've got three 3070s now. So that's only our second um, third party 3070. So I will take more of those as well. We'll take all of it. I mean, we'll take, we'll take everything. Uh, storage, we've got no new storage. Power supplies, we've got some new power supplies. We have three from Antec, the Signature 1000 Platinum and the Signature 1000 Titanium and then the Signature 1300 Platinum. It's, it's interesting. I thought these were the same thing at first when I looked at them, but no, platinum, titanium. Okay, they're different. Uh, and then we've got two more 1600 watts, both from EVGA, the 1600 G2, and the 1600 P2. So uh, adding to our list of 1600 watt power supplies, we just doubled it. We went from two to, to four. So uh, we've got a 1600 T2. That's the old one. We've got now a G2 and a P2. I don't know the difference. I don't. I don't know what that. But but you've got it. We've got it. We've done it. Um, Okay, that's power supplies, cables, nothing there. Case fans, I skipped right over cases, maybe because cases are kind of fun. Uh, case fans, we've got four. The ADATA XPG Vento Pro, I'd say it's not really much to look at. It's not RGB, it's not a very interesting fan, but it's there. Uh, Arctic Bionics P120 addressable RGB. Okay, cool, that looks like fans we already have from Arctic. And then the Slim, which is kind of interesting, actually. Is this our only Slim fan? I didn't even... Ooh, I am very curious about that. Slim fan, cool. So that could be really nice if we're doing a small form factor build and we don't have enough room for a full size fan, but this thing might, this thing's probably half the size. That is a cool addition. That actually I'm pretty excited about. And then we've got Inwin Saturn ASN 120, which is a pretty interesting looking RGB 120 mil fan. So that's case fans. Uh, water cooling, nothing. We got nothing new here. We did a bunch in the last update, so. They don't, you know, really owe us that much. Um, mouse mats. I, I know I'm skipping cases. You're, you're mad. I'm skipping cases, right? Uh, we did get a few new. Well, we got we got one, but in three sizes. The Tohu um, mouse mat. So that's another game from a regular corp, Mediatonic. So yeah, okay, cases. Uh, you can already guess what we're getting for cases. It was on the home screen, but it's pretty exciting. Let's just zip on down here. I don't need to worry too much about surprising anyone because there's no surprise because we're getting a bunch of new fractal cases. So we ended here, everything beyond this is new. So we got the Meshify 2 and Meshify 2 XL in a bunch of different configurations, just like you do with fractal design cases in real life. So that's pretty exciting. You can just do it however you want, pretty much. You can have, uh, white, black, dark tempered glass, clear tempered glass. If you want like a beauty panel, you want hard drive bays, you don't want them, whatever. You can do it all. So we've got all those in there. Uh, yeah, dark tempered glass, light tempered glass, uh, solid panel, not solid panel. We've got the Meshify 2 Compact. And then we've also got Define 7, Define 7 XL. Again, all these different configurations. So yeah, pretty cool. Very fractal. We've also got dark gray versions, which is kind of fun, and light gray. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, Meshify 2. Yep, yep, so that's it. Define 7, uh, Meshify 2, Meshify 2 XL, Define 7 XL, and then Meshify 2 Compact, I think, is actually a different case. I'm not super, super, super familiar with Meshify all the time. But yeah, pretty cool. So that's cases. That's cases and that is everything. That's the end of all the new parts uh, in version 1.12. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and if you did enjoy this, uh, be sure to subscribe and either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. See ya.